Somewhere along medical school, I realized that the heart was just a fascinating organ. Maybe one thing that helped was it was one of the few organs that I actually understood. But eventually, uh, as I got to learn more and more, part of its appeal was that there was a, a rhythmicity to it. I like music a lot, and uh, the heart is a very musical organ. It has a rhythm, it has a beat, and I think that was part of its appeal for me. I want to establish connection pretty quickly with patients. I, I start off just, just friendly, you know, just um, I think that's an important part, just break the ice. Just try to find some commonality, some connection. That for me, an essential part of eventually establishing the trust and uh, opening the communication uh, with the patient. But I do try to keep things in perspective and keep an eye on the big picture. I deal with electrical disorders of the heart, which is not intuitive at all. <laughs> it's not straightforward. So uh, my favorite tool is um, I have a piece of paper with a diagram already drawn on it with the four chambers of the heart, uh, some of the common arrhythmias on one side of that. And uh, I just go through and, and draw it out. I sketch out, okay, this is your electrical system. This is what's normal. And this is what's abnormal and going on um, with your heart. Electrophysiology, there's a lot of constant innovation, research, technology. Meeting the patients where they're at, uh, whatever and however serious their heart condition is, trying to, trying to improve, improve them, help them live, live life to the fullest as they can. <laughs>